Welcome to Dr. JB's sleep series, clip one. In this series, let's talk about what is sleep, what happens when we sleep. In 1971, Rex Schaffen, a pioneer in the field of sleep research, in a publication noted this. If sleep does not serve an absolute vital function, then it is the biggest mistake the evolutionary process ever made. That is a very powerful statement. I'm going to look into several aspects of sleep that I'm sure you will find most fascinating. Let's start with the basic question in the first of this sleep series. What is sleep? We spend about a third of our lives sleeping. Wow, that's a lot of time. No wonder Reshafen said that the reason to sleep better be a good one. Okay, so sleep is a physiological behavior. And by that, what I mean by physiological behavior is that sleep is a normal behavior that is common to all animal species. Sleep is a state where awareness to environmental stimuli is reduced. Stimuli like light or mild sounds or movements around you. Sleep is different from other states like coma, hibernation and death by the fact that sleep can be rapidly reversed. One can wake you up from sleep quickly even if you are in deep sleep. We have not figured out all the functions of sleep but we know enough for now to be able to say that sleep is essential for survival. Prolonged sleep deprivation, that is, when people do not get adequate sleep for a long period of time, leads to severe physical impairment, followed by cognitive loss and eventually death. Yes, let me repeat that, death. Cognitive loss or impairment may involve any or all of the following. You forget things more often than before. You forget important events such as appointments or social engagements. You lose your train of thought or the thread of conversations or movies. You feel increasingly overwhelmed by making decisions. As well, you start to have trouble finding your way around familiar environments. You become more impulsive or show increasingly poor judgment. Your family and friends start noticing these changes. Cognitive loss or impairment may also lead to depression, irritability and aggression, and anxiety. Next obvious second question is, what happens when we sleep? For sleep to be so important and central to our mere existence. When you sleep, your body undergoes a series of changes that enable the rest that is vital for your overall health. Sleep allows the brain and the body to change their states, kind of slow down or shift gears, if you will. These change of states enables the body to engage in the processes of recovery, repair or remodeling that will ensure or promote better physical and mental performance the next day and over the long term. Almost every part of your body experiences changes during sleep. I'll talk in another clip in more detail about two distinctive stages of sleep called non-rapid eye moment sleep or NREM sleep and rapid eye movement sleep or REM sleep, also called dream sleep. For the sake of this clip, let's say that NREM sleep is the first stage of sleep that we get into, followed by REM sleep. And we go through these NREM and REM stages of sleep through the night uh, for about four or five cycles, depending on the length of our sleep. So what are the changes your body experiences during sleep? What about breathing? Breathing slows down during NREM sleep, 
with breathing reaching its lowest rates during the stage of deep sleep of NREM. Breathing rates then increase slowly and may become irregular during REM sleep. What about heart rate? Similar to breathing, our heart rate begins to slow down during NREM sleep, reaching its slowest pace during deep sleep. During REM sleep, the heart rate and the pulse quicken to nearly the same rate as when we are awake. Interestingly, muscles gradually relax during NREM sleep and the body's total expenditure drops to a minimum, naturally. During the REM stage, most muscles are kind of paralyzed in a condition known as atonia. Now, what is also interesting is that the respiratory and eye muscles stay active and the movement of the eyes behind closed eyelids is the inspiration for the name Rapid Eye Movement Sleep or REM Sleep. When brain activity is measured during sleep, brain waves show clear pattern associated with each sleep stage. They do not slow down for sure, but patterns of activity change. During sleep, or during REM sleep rather, brain activity accelerates showing markedly different types of brain waves. Heightened brain activity is why REM sleep is known as the stage most associated with vivid dreaming. Now, even though in REM sleep you have rapid eye movement, the sleep is thought to enable critical cognitive abilities, including memory consolidation. However, in REM sleep, even with reduced brain activity, is also believed to play a role in facilitating proper brain function while awake. Hormone levels fluctuate during different sleep stages and quality of sleep may also affect daytime hormone production. Therefore, quality of sleep is important and I will talk about it in another talk. Now, a special mention here is a hormone of darkness called melatonin. Melatonin helps promote sleep and tissue repair. I will also certainly talk about melatonin in another series. It therefore seems that when we sleep, a lot of biological processes occur that help us recover from the activity of the day and help our body get prepared for the next day or for the next few days. So, certainly looks like sleep does serve an absolute vital function.